Costco rotisserie chicken. There's maltodextrin, there's also carrageenan. Those are really common gut irritants, but not only that, they've been known to cause cancer. I don't know what it is about this Costco chicken, but here we go again. First off, I want to acknowledge how stressful it can be to be afraid of specific ingredients, thinking that they cause cancer when that's not the case. All right, so the first ingredient she mentioned was maltodextrin. That is just long chains of glucose. Your body recognizes it as glucose. It's at a very low level in this Costco chicken, but no, that is not causing cancer. The second one, carrageenan, there is a lot of confusion with this ingredient. So there is food grade carrageenan, and then there's something called degraded carrageenan, which is also the same as polygenin. Before 1988, in studies, this was not uh, differentiated very well from food grade carrageenan because it was called degraded carrageenan. So that got confused a lot with food grade carrageenan, even though they are very different substances. So degraded carrageenan or polygenin is used in medical imaging. It is not used in foods. It is considered a carcinogen and it's used in studies to induce inflammation in rodents. This gets confused with food grade carrageenan, which again are two separate things and polygenin or degraded carrageenan is not used in foods. So polygenin is created by the acid hydrolysis of carrageenan at high temperatures. Carrageenan is used in foods while polygenin is used in medical imaging. Carrageenan is used in foods for its gel formation properties, whereas polygenin does not have gel formation properties, so it wouldn't even make sense to be using it in foods. Carrageenan is not absorbed by the GI tract, where polygenin is absorbed to some extent. Carrageenan is safe via oral exposure in laboratory animals and in humans, whereas polygenin causes GI ulceration and tumors in laboratory animals. This is where the confusion comes in. Carrageenan is not carcinogenic, or polygenin or degraded carrageenan is a carcinogen by oral route in animals. If you have IBS or IBD and carrageenan is a trigger for gut issues, then by all means avoid it, but it is not true that this ingredient causes cancer. In a time where food is getting more and more expensive, this is really just not a time to be perpetuating this misinformation and creating unnecessary food fears.